Hey, keep it down in there. This is for real. We're live. Hi, this is Gregory Jones. This video will cover replacing the door hinge on a 1995 Ford Travel 280 SE without removing the door from the coach. What we're going to do is loosen all the screws up first, remove any of the old weather stripping that's in the way, and then we are going to use the coach air suspension to help us hold the door up in a way that uh, stops us from having to manhandle and muscle this big old door around. Our hinge was in pretty bad shape so what we did was ordered a new hinge, got that in. You could actually pull your hinge apart and rebuild it with new nylon bushings but we're going to use this picnic table and those blocks of wood that we put under the door and then slowly lowered the coach down until it just took the weight off the door at which time we unscrewed all the screws with the exception of about three and as you can see I've got an assistant on this because we need somebody to steady the door up now he's not going to be holding the door but we're doing a full removal here there's a lot of screws in this there's probably about 15 or so uh, in each side and uh, we remove most all of them down to about three left getting it in preparation to pull the old hinge out of there. Uh, we're going to be replacing all the weather strip around the door uh, with the exception of the one outer bead while we're doing this job and it's going to be a nicer fitting better sealed door than we have had in many many years. We're tired of slamming the door shut uh, the door sagging down. We've had to adjust the um, latch a few times over the years and uh, hopefully this will get us away from that. So right now we've just about got everything loose. We're going to be removing the old hinge out of here shortly. It slides out from the top and it goes into a pin area in the top so we're going to be sliding that down once we get the rest of them loose here. Uh, a couple of the screws were kind of hidden under some weather stripping, uh, so we, we had to get those out of the way. Here's where the old hinge is loose. Just got to pop it loose. It's kind of stuck a little bit. We also removed the sensor, magnetic sensor for the step. Uh, to get that out of the way it was also taken off of here before we started actually taking the hinge apart so that we didn't damage that. Had to use a ratchet style Phillips screwdriver because of the close proximity uh, and not enough room to use a large screwdriver in a few of the bottom screws. And now that we've got everything loose, that popped out of there. We've got the new hinge now. We're going to slide it up into place. We sprayed a little bit of lubricant on the hinge pin before we put it in there. Little jigaloo on there. You could use a silicone spray. We put the screws back in. And fortunately, by using this method, the great thing was that everything lined back up perfectly. We start to put a few screws in and we'll snug them down as we go along and then we'll do the final tightening once we make sure that everything fits. We continue to put the screws in here. We also cleaned up the edge of the door where the old weather strip was. Got rid of all the old ad adhesive. We wiped that down with WD-40 on a rag which dissolved the old adhesive and then in preparation for the new adhesive we wiped down the edge of the door and the door frame with isopropyl alcohol to remove any traces of the WD-40 or the oil film. And we're continuing to put the screws back in here. As I said, using this method, now we're going to move on to the weather stripping. What we have here is two pieces of weather stripping 
This is a 5 16 by 5 8 EDPM rubber with about five fingers on it. The other weather stripping in the background there is a foam rubber 7 16 of an inch thick by three quarter inch wide. We came up with those thicknesses by closing the door on with no hint, with no weather strip on there on a piece of clay and that gave us a a thickness dimension that we were looking for to fill we decided that we wanted to just fill that dimension and not overfill the hinge where the door was getting bowed out by weather strip and this combination worked out perfectly up here is where we had a crack two years ago and instead of welding that area, I ground it out, epoxied it, and put a screw in, and we haven't had any problems with it. And as you can see, the finished product, absolutely perfect. The door shuts like it's never shut before.